Listen, man, they call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans. Hey, you know, my name is Ryan, and this is Addy, and welcome back to another edition of Box Tour. Today, two UK stars return to the ring after losses. One was, one was kind of expected, one wasn't. I'm talking about Brian Rose and Ricky Burns. Addy, let's start with Brian Rose first. A humbling experience, <laughs> but he's back on the comeback trail. He is back on the comeback trail, but there seems to be a theme where... So he lost to 154. A, a guy that I eventually thought, although he's gone up to 160 in Boo, Boo at the moment, I think a guy that I think will kind of... I wouldn't say dominate the 154 division because it's a stacked division, yeah. but will definitely be a key figure in that division. So there's no shame in him losing to him. I don't understand is it was a mandatory, it wasn't a yeah. voluntary. So he, put, he got good work to get to that position. Why do you have to come so far back down? That's my thing. The 154 division is stacked from like zero to probably 15. There's so many guys in there. I just don't understand of the, the you have to come back about 20 steps. Yeah. Let's be honest, you look at the guy's record he's fighting. I don't want to say it, he's fighting a bum. Why do you have to go that so far? That's my only problem with this fight. I understand your point, but I slightly disagree. In the sense, whereas when you're a professional fighter and you feel you are at that certain level, yeah. the way he lost was humbling. Mm. Where he's been through, he's been an amateur, he's been, a, he's been an amateur, he's been a pro, he's been through all this, gone through all the ring walls, all the training to get basically schooled. Yeah. So he feels humbled, but I think in the future he'll feel much better because I do, like yourself, believe Andre will be a two weight world champion, possibly a three weight world champion. Yeah. He'll be on pound for pound list. If he reaches that type of echelon, he'll forget what? Maybe I've done okay yeah. because this guy dominated. It's like when people lose to Floyd Mayweather, people mm. don't really feel bad because it's Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. But so it's, it, I guess it's the way Rose lost. It's, it's, the, way, it's the way he lost. That's why. So him coming back is strictly a confidence builder. The thing for me with Rose is that, is he coming back A, for a confidence builder, or is it B, to know where your level is? Um, he's gone to the world level. Um, it's almost similar to what we said about, I think, what the WBO put out about Billy Joe Saunders yeah. when, when they said he hasn't fought a top 15 ranked guy. Oh, yeah. So again, where's Billy Joe Saunders' level? Is he world elite or is he, young, you know, is he really top European? Yeah. And I guess that's the question for um, Brian Rose. Before the Andrade fight, I said, look, I want him to fight maybe the European champion. Like, yeah. fight a top European. Let, let me know that you're the you're best the, in Europe yeah. before you take the world elite. So I don't know if he's taking that step back down to kind of see, like, right, where am I? I think the step back down, like, so I think it's a, a big step back. Yeah, very but, big step back. Uh, but I also think it's a good step back in a sense, whereas right now, let's be honest, the 154 division oh, has a bunch of monsters in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not if you if you're a professional fighter right now and you had a choice to be at 147 or 154. Chances are you go to 147. Chances are you'll kill yourself to make weight at 147. Yeah. Because the yeah. guys at 154 are just... They, you know, it's like... See 140 to 147? Yeah. The jump doesn't seem yeah. too big. You could almost match those guys yeah. up. You couldn't yeah. match anyone from 154, apart yeah. from Floyd, yeah. 147 to 154. Okay, besides the few punches at 147, i.e. Like, that's a Thurman and um, Madonna. Madonna, Madonna. Everyone will say it's basically a boxer. Yeah. Even Manny Pacquiao now has become a boxer. Yeah. At 154, you've got guys that won the bank. Yeah. And that's the difference. Yeah. So... Brian was going back after being stopped and knocked out. I think, yeah, give him that chance, give him that break. But I expect a dominant performance Saturday on, 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 the, on fight night. The thing is, I expect a, again, I expect a dominant performance as well. I think he's going to come back hungry because of the humbling experience. But he wins this fight. We mentioned it again in this video. The 154 division is stacked from 0 to 15. Yeah. You can reel off the names. It's actually quite scary. The good thing is Boo Boo's moving up. Yeah. James Kirkland's moving up. So you get rid of a couple of monsters there. Yeah. But you're still left with like the likes of Ishe Smith, Melina, yeah. K9. Even if he does win this fight, and I expect him to, does he take another fight like this again? Does he go straight back in against those guys? If I, if I was Brian Rose, I reckon he'd get this victory in, get, like I said, a European level fight in, yeah. and so that, yeah, guess what? I'm just slowly building up and take one of those fights next year. Okay, so how do you expect the fights to play out? Brian Rose by stoppage. Stoppage. By stoppage. I, I, reckon, I reckon it's one of those fights there. He's taking a step back to get his confidence back. Mm. To get his confidence back, the game of the guy, he could stop. Yeah, it's a good shout. But you never know these South Americans. fight an Argentinian. No. And those guys, they, they breed them no, differently. No, they there. don't, 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 they don't, don't breed them to get stopped. Don't get me wrong. This guy is tough. Yeah, he's tough. He's Argentinian. He's, he's, you, know, he's, you know he's coming to fight, not coming to quit. But at the same time, when you look at his record, when you look at who he's fought, mm. when you look at where Brian Rose and Brian Rose is fought, you would expect that as much as tough as you are, this is a fight. Someone has to get hit, someone has to go down. Yeah, I, I agree with that statement, actually. Um, I, I feel like they are... I don't like to use the word set-up fights because it almost makes boxing sound corrupt. But it almost is, in, in a sense, a set-up fight. You look at the guy's record, check it out on Boxrec, guys. 
This guy literally has fought nobody. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. He has fought nobody. Brian Rose, on the other hand, has fought somebody. Um, yes, it was a humbling experience, but like me and Ryan said, he's going in there with what I think will be a possible free weight world champion. I'm talking 154, 160, yeah, yeah. and possibly 168. Is that big? So I expect Brian Rose to get a stoppage. My only question is after this fight, where does he go? But hey, moving on, Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns took a lot of slack. And we've Jesus. done quite a few videos on Ricky Burns and talking about what's going on. What's, he should be coming back. He should take time off. And he should do all these other things mm. except come back to the ring. Yeah. Less than a week after his last loss, mm. it was already announced that he's coming back in the autumn yeah. at 154. It was sorry, actually pre-planned. 140. One, sorry, 140, sorry. It was already pre-planned. Yeah. It was already like, well, that the loss didn't happen. That mm. was already going forward. I don't have much to say about Ricky Burns. I like Ricky Burns. I think he's done very well for his career. I think he's done great to get what he's done to you. But his last year, 18 months, have been so tough. Yeah. I don't think he should be fighting this fight. Give or take who he's fighting, I think it's relevant. That's a good shout. Um, look, Ricky Burns is that person that sometimes you've got to look at your career and say, you know, I've done it. I've done bloody well. Yeah. I mean, he's a two weight world champion, mm -hmm. super featherweight and lightweight. Yeah. Um, so he's beat, you know, he's beat, he beat a few good people yeah. as well. I mean, I can see this win was a very good win yeah. as well. I think he needs to not be so hard on himself and thinking, I, you know, I need to do this, I need to prove it to anyone. You don't need to prove it to anyone. He's done so well in his career. My problem is Ricky Burns has never seemed to, we've never really heard him say he's struggling for weight. No. So I don't like, I've always said it, I don't like the thing of you lose and you have to move up in weight. Ricky Burns never seemed to, remember, he's, from, he's come from a super featherweight. R Ricky Burns makes it, makes it that mistake that most fighters do when they, when they lose a fight. They change weight and they change trainer. And, you know, it's like, something you have to change, something you need a break. The fight he had with... Um, which one? Which was it? Which Crawford, it, which, Beltran, which, which was it Gonzalez, the first guy, the guy that was beaten and he broke his hand. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, Gonzalez yeah. yeah. Gonzalez. That was a tough fight for Ricky Burns. Yeah. He, he, was, he, was, he was taking a little bit of a beat. Yeah. The, the Beltran fight was bad for Ricky Burns with yeah. a broken jaw. Instead of taking a break, he's come back straight away and fought Terence Crawford, yeah. who's just come for his own spectacular win against Gamboa, to actually what level he's at. Then he's come back and took another guy, mm. got dropped in the first round, and lost a one-sided points decision. Yeah. He like, needs a break. Even that was what, a split decision. Again, it's, yeah. <laughs> he needs a break. Now, yeah. I'm trying to say it like this. You're talking about your body. You're talking about your mind. Fighting's all in here. It's putting it together. If you don't believe in yourself and you can't tie it together in here, you ain't got to tie it in here. It's a very good point you make about um, him, the fight with Terence Crawford and the fight with Beltran. Yeah. Look, yes, Beltran was a dodgy decision, but it wasn't a lopsided. Beltran didn't win by lopsided. No. Beltran's a bloody good fighter. We yeah. know that. I think people maybe took it for granted that he was Pacquiao's sparring partner. You know, and everyone thought he's just a sparring partner. He's a very good fighter. And we're going to see Beltran and Crawford get it on. We saw what Gamboa, how he struggled yeah. with Crawford as well. Yeah. Ricky Burns should look at those two fighters and think, I'm not that bad. He's, he's, he's I not don't that. need he's to move weight and I don't need to move trade. Ricky Burns is a good. very, very good fighter. He, he just he, needs a big break. 18 months ago, two years ago, people were saying that who's the best in the division? division. Uh, it was supposed to be him, him versus him, um, him Broner. And was with, I think it was Miguel, Miguel not Vasquez. No, I think it was. I think it was. Think it was. Yeah. And they were arguing who's the best in the division yeah. because Ricky Burns is in, was in that echelon. But obviously, he's rushed so much in these losses, it's pushed him back. The thing about what I'm saying, what I'm saying with, with the Beltran loss as well, it's not that he took a beating. Because he had the injury as mm. well, the bleeding, swelling your blood, the broken jaw, and you fight through that. Which he did. You give him credit, I'm trying to say, take those things as positive, not as negatives. The funny thing is, after the Beltran loss, here is when he should be coming back. Yeah. That gap should be now. He should yeah. have had that belt. Yeah. There shouldn't have been a Crawford. Vacate the belt if you're going to lose yeah. the belt. But obviously, you're going to go out on your short and fight Crawford yeah. now. That's when it should be. He shouldn't have had that fight in between. And he definitely shouldn't be fighting now. He could have, he could have, they even had to vacate He could have kept the belt. Voluntary, isn't it? And they, they were done interim because yeah. he was injured. Yeah. And then he had a broken jaw. He would have got, maybe, they might have even stripped him. But they made him fighting for the belt. Mandatory number one. number one when he came back. Yeah. But they rushed it. So they rushed it. I reckon Ricky Burns is a very nice guy, but I think he's made some bad decisions within this camp, i.e. if it's his manager or promoter. Because like I said, these cons consecutive fights over and over and over again, you're kind of rehashing the same damage book. Yeah, and, that, and that's, that's the problem for me with Ricky Burns. Look, like you say, everyone says that the nicest guy in boxing. Yeah. So do I want him to win? Of course I want him to win. Do I think he win? Yes. But I feel like pressure's on now every fight. It's, yeah, it's, it's an is. immense yeah. pressure as well now. Everyone wants to see, can you do anything? I mean... When you use excuses about the trainer, which is not, again, Ricky Burns not used it, but just trainer excuses and weight excuses. Now it's a case of, okay, you've been with that trainer now for, you know, nine months a year. You've moved up in weight, no excuses, this is what you can do. Ricky Burns got to conquer demons in this fight to win. Yeah. And if the demons are not the press, it's not the people that shakes him himself, because he knows, as a fighter, he's not feeling the way he wants to feel. 
Okay, knowing that, does Ricky Burns win? I mean, we're not really touching his opponent, but does he, does he win? I, I'm, I'm going for Ricky Burns. I, like I said, I like Ricky Burns. I think he's very skillful. I think he's very talented. For a guy that is not a punch on, he doesn't like to box well. He's got great balance. He moves well. He throws good combinations out. Yeah? And he's got a very good jab as well when he uses it. It's just that, like I said, it's not been clicking for him right now. And it's for various other reasons. I'm going for Ricky Burns to win on points. Hopefully, it's, 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 it's a dominant win. Yeah. It's a dominant win. I don't want to hear a split decision. I want someone like just he could go in there and get his feet wet with again. See, the scary thing for me with Ricky Burns is um, Beltran broken jaw. Mm. Crawford beat him up. Mm. That's that right. It, it wasn't you know it wasn't yeah. concussive, but beat him up. Yeah. And then the last fight he got put down hard. Yeah. One thing about Ricky Burns before that, he wasn't getting caught like this before. He, yeah. he, didn't, he, he never had that Ricky Burns as a you know as a soft touch in that sense. So he's getting caught a few times as well. Yeah. I don't know if the guy is fighting. I don't know too much about his record. If it's a genuine 140 guy, the guy's going to be coming down from 154, 160. Yeah. So he's fighting a bigger guy as well. Ricky Burns, you should have the size advantage. That's gone now. I hope Ricky Burns does win again. If he goes on, 140 division is ridiculous. That's my thing as well. I think that's what, something we haven't touched yeah. on. If he is coming strong, look at the 140 division in the world. Is I mean, it, Matisse, it, Mon Peterson, you know, Garcia, it's ridiculous. Even with his losses, he stayed active. Yeah. If he was to stay active for the rest of the year, fighting average guys, old man, great guys, just to get get his flow back yeah. and say 2016, I'm going for a shot, I'll be happy with that. But I don't want to hear no title shots, no elaborate stories. I just want solid, slow pace victories for the next 12 months. Okay, there you go, guys. So this is the comeback show. This is uh, Brian Rose on the comeback of the Boo Boo. Uh, humiliation as such. But again, I think he's fighting. I think he's fought one of the best out there. And Ricky Burns come back after what's been probably the worst 18 months for for, for most boxers, for especially yeah. for world championship level boxers. So he's coming back again. He's coming back to 140. Will that make a difference? Will the second fight under his new trainer make a difference as well? I guess we'll find out in what? A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks, couple of weeks time. Guys, thanks for watching another edition of Box Talk. Don't forget to email us at boxtalk at hotmo.co.uk and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at boxtalk.uk. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe and also check out ringnews24.com. Thanks for watching the edition of Box Talk.